The time now is 8.04, and you have a chance to join an amazing rescue team because Ocean Safety is hosting tryouts to expand their Ohana. That's right, and Dallas Ontiveros joins us live this morning with more on that. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina and Kelly. That's right. The tryouts are right around the corner, February 26th and 27th at 8 a.m. here at Alamoana Beach Park, right by Tower 1B. But to give you more insight on what to expect, we're joined by one of the lifeguards from Ocean Safety. This is Mel Melanie Bartels. Good morning. Aloha, Melanie. Good morning, everybody. My name is Melanie Bartels. Happy um, to have you here. Nice. Yeah, so I want to ask you, you know, you're one of the very few women a part of Ocean Safety who is a lifeguard, but it is your first year, and I want to ask you, what made you want to join in the first place? Yeah, so um, um, what made me want to join being a lifeguard is uh, we had a couple important people in our lives that we looked up to and inspired us, and they were two of the most best women um, lifeguards that started, you know, first started off, and they're Auntie Rail and Auntie Pua, and they're both from the west side, and that's where I'm from, and um, they were hammers in and out of the water, and and they just they just paved the way for us and and gave us a uh, hope to to one day we can we can do this job too as well you know and being Absolutely. a woman um it's very important to have uh, more younger girls you know like you guys can actually make this thing a career and it's always good to have balance in our department and to have men and women side by side you know in the ocean safety you know just um helping people and doing what we love being around the ocean Absolutely, Melanie. You're preaching so much truth right now. It's awesome that you're following a legacy, really getting into this. But, you know, you bring up a lot of great points at finding a good balance when it comes to a team, especially ocean safety. So hopefully we see more women be a part of ocean safety, especially hearing what you had to say. But as far as the tests and the requirements go, let's talk about it because I know there are some challenges come around uh, February 26th and 27th. Can you uh -huh. share with that? Yeah. So. You know, with this tryouts, it's very, it's very, um, it's very fun. Um, it's all about training and being prepared. Um, I gotta say, maybe get something really healthy to eat the night before, get a good night's rest, get ready, and and be prepared to do so. A couple of events. There's three events involved. Um, one of them is is very crucial. You you have to make one just to get in get to do another one you know so um the one that i would stress on to people to um, practice for is the paddleboard everybody underestimates the paddleboard but really it's all about control and it's a 12-foot board it's it's thick you know it's different from riding a short board or, or a, a, a long board so um being able to maneuver this board because this is one of the essential tools we use in rescues all the time um you mm -hmm. need to be able to handle that and and um be able to paddle and once you get past that man you're on to the next phase and and it's very exciting especially when you get into the recruit training class man you're, you're in for some fun yeah and it's it's a it's it's a great thing to be a part of and to 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 be able to you know to make it past that and yeah be able to use this uniform it's it's a uh, grateful and it, you feel really good and and you know that you're doing something good for your community and for yeah. the the next generation Absolutely, and we saw Joey give a great demonstration on how to really practice with that paddle board. Now, if someone doesn't have a paddle board but really wants to be a part of Ocean Safety, any recommendations or what you could do to practice? Yeah, so um, people are over here already. They're training. They're uh -huh. get, they're getting ready for this tryout. You know, they're yeah. working on um, their weaknesses. So if you don't have a paddle board, it's always good to maybe come down. Uh, you could always rent boards. Um, you could get one from Costco and then return it after um, yeah. you make the tryouts. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Um, you can come down to the beach, and I'm sure anybody will be happy to let lend you a board. And yeah. um, you're doing it for a good mm -hmm. cause, and and um, we're just helping. We want to help people out. We want to get them excited because this is the best job in the world. There you go, Melanie. You said it. One of the very few women part of Ocean Safety. We appreciate you and all the service you bring here to the islands. All right. Thank you, guys, and thank you to Ocean Safety and all the guards, man. It's, it's great to be a part of you guys' family, and we just want to help the public. Thank you, and all keep right. them safe. It's all Ohana and Aloha here. And, of course, we got one more live interview on what to expect when it comes to those Ocean Safety tryouts coming up in the next half hour. But if you want a preview on what to expect, head over to our website, KH12.com. We have all the info that you need to know. Reporting from the scene here, Dallas Anaveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas, and thank you to Ocean Safety. Coming up next, honoring local entrepreneurs. We'll have the details on the Entrepreneur Awards Gala and how you can watch the event when Take Two returns.